Assalamualaikum and have a nice day. Okay, today we will learn a new techniques of integration which is the trigonometric substitution. Okay, let's look at the trigonometric substitution. Okay, there are three types of trigonometric substitution. Okay, as summarized in this following table. Okay, the number one. Let's look at the form of integrand. Okay, the number one, the square root of a square minus x square. So if if you look at this form of integrand, a square minus x square. So we use the substitution x equal to a sine theta. We use sine theta. Substitution of sine theta. Then we have to differentiate this function x with respect to theta. So we get the x, the x over d theta equal to a cos theta. We differentiate this function. Okay, then if we use this form of integral, so we we could use the trigonometric identity. Okay, which is 1 minus sine theta, sine square theta equal to cos square theta. Or the general, or in general form, we use the sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Okay, number 2. Okay, if the integral is in the form of square root a square plus x square the plus sign okay so we use the substitution x equal to a tangent theta tangent theta okay if we differentiate this function x with respect to d theta so we get d theta d dx equal to a secant square theta d theta. And we could use the trigonometric identity. Okay, 1 plus tangent square theta equal to secant square theta. Okay, the last form of integral is the square root of x square minus a square. Okay, so this form of integral, we use the substitution x equal to a secant theta. Okay, if we differentiate this function, d theta with d theta, d, dx, we differentiate x with respect to theta. So dx over d theta equal to a secant theta tangent theta this form of integral we also use this trigonometric identity secant square theta minus 1 equal to tangent square theta it is same with the number 2 trigonometric identity for number 2 Okay, let's look at this another form of integrand. It looks like the previous the previous form of integrand, the three previous form of integrand. Okay, number one. Okay, it is in the form of tangent. Look at this plus sign. It is uh, tangent involve tangent so the trigonometric substitution in this form of integral so we use 2x okay we can simplify this form so we get the 2x square plus 5 square okay so 
the general general form for general form for this integrand is x square plus a square right so we use the substitution x equal to a tangent theta so in this in this form of integrand so we use x x is to a so 2x equal to a this one a is 5 so 5 tangent theta so this is number one we prove it number one so in this in this substitution it will get the x equal to 5 over 2 tangent theta Okay, understand okay the number two okay we simplify this form of integrand so 3x square minus 4 square okay this is in the form of secant where x square minus a the form of secant Second, the x square minus a square. So x equal to a second theta. Okay, therefore, in this form of integrand, so we have three x equal to four second theta. Okay, follow this general form of integral. This. So x equal to 4 over 3 second theta. Okay, number 3. Number 3 is Okay, we simplify this Integral, we will get 7 square minus 6 square, 6x six square. So it is in the form of, okay, number 3, it is in the form of a square minus x square. x equal to a sin theta so the trigonometric substitution is equal to x 6x equal to 7 sin theta so x equal to 7 over 6 sin theta you have to modify this form of integral and then number four. This one number four. To so modify this one is three square. So it is in the form of x square minus a square. X square minus a square is in the form of secant secant theta. So that's why this is x and this is a. So that's why is we substitute the value for x and a. So x is to x minus 1 equal to k a is 3, 3 second theta. Then we want to solve, we want to find the value for x. So x equal to this one. We bring this one into the right hand side. So it will get 2x equal to 3 second theta plus 1 over 2. Or we can have 1 over 
x equal to 1 over 2 plus 3 over 2 secant theta. In the last example, okay, it is in the form of okay, a square minus x square. a square minus x square. Okay, it is in the form of sine theta. So we substitute this one is a a square minus x square. So we substitute x equal to so this one x equal to x plus 3 equal to a is 1 a sine theta 1 sine theta. So we have x equal to sine theta minus 3. Okay, let's look at example 1. Okay, find the following integral using a suitable trigonometric substitution. The integral of square root 9 minus x square over x square dx. Okay, if we look at this form of integral, integral, it is in the numerator. It is in the form of a square minus x square. So, it is form of a square minus x square. So, in this integral, if we look at this form of integral, okay, we use the substitution x equal to a sine theta. Look at the previous slide. It is in the form of number 1. X equal to A sine theta. Okay, so we, we, we simplify this form of integral. We have, so we have the 3 square minus x square so we substitute into this x so x equal to 3 sine theta F x equal to 3 sine theta okay then we we differentiate this function of x with respect to d theta we will have so d theta dx equal to 3 cos theta d theta. We differentiate this function. And then we substitute this value for x and d theta into the original function. So the original function we have in the form of sine theta. You, you substitute x square. So we have the x square equal to from this one to so 9 sine square theta. Substitute into this. <coughs> okay, so the x is substitute the x with 3 cos theta d theta. Okay, and then after this, okay, we factorize the integral, this integral, the numerator, the numerator part. So the square root of 9 times 1 minus sine square theta. Okay, we factorize it and we apply the trigonometric identity. We apply this trigonometric identity. One minus sine square theta equal to cos square theta. So we we rewrite this this function into cos square theta. So we get 
it will get the square root of 9 cos square theta over 9 sin square theta times 3 cos theta d theta. Okay, after this, we have to simplify this form of equation. We have to simplify it. So, it will have the 3 cos theta with the square root. So, it will get the 3 cos theta over 9 sine square theta times 3 cos theta d theta. So, you have these types of equation. Okay, cos square theta over sin square theta. Okay, we simplify this form. It will get the cos square, cot, cotangent square theta. Okay, if you want to integrate this cotangent square theta, and you have to convert this cotangent square theta into the cosecant square theta minus 1. So we use the trigonometric identity. Okay, it involves the cotangent square theta. So we use the trigonometric identity involve the 1 plus cotangent square theta equal to cosecant square theta. So you have to, to rewrite or to convert it into cosecant square theta minus 1. Cotangent square theta equal to cosecant square theta minus 1. You have to convert it into cosecant square theta minus 1 so that we can we can integrate this function. We can't integrate the cotangent square theta. So we have to rewrite or we have to modify this function into cosecant square theta minus 1. Then we just we, uh, we just integrate this function. So integrate cosecant square theta equal to negative cotangent theta okay, minus theta. We have to integrate it with respect to d theta okay, plus c. Then the final answer. Okay, you have to substitute back the value for theta. Theta equal to x value. So we use we use this Pythagoras, Pythagoras theorem to convert the value for theta into x x function. The final answer must be in x function. So we use the original substitution. The previous one we use this substitution right. X equal to three sine theta. 3 sin theta. So, the sin theta equal to x over 3. The sin theta is x over 3. Okay, based on Pythagoras theorem, you have to find this adjacent side is 9 minus x square. We use the right angle triangle. Right angle triangle. So we get the adjacent side. Okay, then we substitute. The negative cotangent is in the form of. So we have the negative cotangent is okay, negative side over opposite. So we have side is square root 9 minus x square over x okay, minus theta. Okay, theta, we look at this one. So, 
sin theta equal to x over 3. Therefore, theta equal to from this this one. So, theta equal to the sine inverse of x over 3 plus c. Okay, we'll look at second example. Okay, look at the numerator. The, the numerator is in the form of this form of integrand. x square minus a square. So, it is in the form of secant x we use x equal to a secant theta. Okay, we modify this numerator. So, you will have the 3x square minus 2 square. So, you will have the substitution value is 3x equal to to secant theta then you will have the value for x equal to 2 over 3 secant theta you will have this value 2 over x 2 over 3 secant theta ok then you have to differentiate this function with respect to theta so we have the d, d, dx equal to 2 over 3 secant. We, dif we differentiate this function, the secant theta. We will have the secant theta tangent theta. D theta. Okay, so from this substitution, okay, if you look at this, this function this question this original question it, it will have the x square right the x square the value for x square so the value for x square you have to three x square you have to to square this one three x square we have to x square right so we have to square this one so 3x square equal to 4 secant square theta we have this function over x we substitute the x with this function the x Okay, then we can simplify this function. We can sort out the this denominator with the numerator. So we have this. We will have the new, the simpler one, the simpler function. So four secant square theta minus four times tangent theta. Okay, if you look at if you look at this function, it is in the form of okay, you have to you have to factorize this function so you, you will get the four times second square theta minus one. This form you have to you have to factorize this function. Okay, then we can't integrate this function. So we have to modify it. So we have to use the trigonometric identity. So we, we have the tangent square theta equal to C 
secant square theta minus 1. That's why we have the 4 tangent square theta. We use the trigonometric identity to integrate this function in the form of tangent square theta. Okay, then we simplify this function. Simplify. We will have this solution. Tangent square theta. The simpler one is tangent square theta. Okay, we can't we can't integrate this tangent square theta, so we have to modify it into secant square theta, so that we can integrate this function. So integrate secant square theta equal to tangent theta, okay minus theta. Then you you have to apply the the right angle triangle right angle okay we use the the original substitution the previous one substitution 3x equal to 2 secant theta so the secant theta equal to 3x over 2 then we, uh, in the we have to modify the right angle triangle must be in the form of cos sine and tangent only so we have to modify this secant theta so equal to secant theta equal to 1 over cos this one theta is 1 over cos theta so equal to 3x over 2. Therefore, cos theta equal to 2 over 3x. This one. Cos theta equal to 2 over 3x. Cos theta is the adjacent over hypotenuse. Then we have to find the opposite side. So equal this opposite side equal to 9x square minus 4. Okay, then we can substitute this value into this into the final solution to have the final solution so 2 times okay, tangent theta tangent theta is opposite over adjacent opposite over adjacent okay minus theta theta we have this one so we have theta equal to Cos inverse 2 over 3x. Okay, this one is cos inverse 2 over 3x or we can use the, the second inverse lah. Okay, the final answer can be this one or this one or we can have in the form of cos the inverse cos 2 over 3x. Okay, let's look at the third example. Okay, look at this form of integral. We look at the denominator part. So it is in the form of 4 minus x square. 4 square minus x square. 
So it is in the form of sine. So x equal to a sine theta. So we have x equal to 4 sine theta. This one is from, from general form. So we have x equal to 4 sine theta. And then the x square equal to 60 sine square theta. Okay, this solution, we must find the x cube. So the x cube equal to 64 sine cube theta. And then we have to integrate, we have to differentiate x with respect to d theta so differentiate we differentiate this one so we have the dx equal to 4 cos theta d theta okay we substitute into this original function so x the x cube equal to this one x cube Then 16 minus x square. Square is 16 sine square theta. Then dx equal to this one. 4 cos theta d theta. Okay, then from this, we can... You have to simplify. So you have to simplify. We can we can multiply it? Sixty four times four. We have two six two five six. And then sine theta, sine cube theta, cos theta, over. We factorize this denominator. Sixteen. So that we can we can cancel up we can we can cancel up we can factorize this one the simple one so we have the 16 16 divided by 16 we have 16 so this one we we use the trigonometric identity cos theta we have the cos theta and then from this we can we can simplify this one and cancel out. So we have the sine cube theta over cos theta. Okay, then from this, the sine theta, sine, sine cube theta, okay, we want to find this integral of power the we use the the odd power of sine so we we have to we have to split this sine so we get the sine square theta times sine theta with the odd number odd number power odd We have to split. Uh, we have to split this function. Okay, then we use the we use this trigonometric identity. Okay, one minus cos theta cos square theta equal to this one. So we. You use the another substitution to solve this integral. So we let u equal to cos theta. And then du equal to negative sine u du. So you, you have to you have to rewrite it in the form of u function u. So one minus u square over u times 
negative. This one is negative du. This one is sin negative sin theta, sin theta, sin theta d theta. So we have the sin theta d theta in the form of du negative du. So negative sign. <coughs> So we can just simply integrate this this function that we have. So one over u is ln u. This one is u squared over two. Then we substitute back the function of u. So u equal to ln cos theta minus cos squared theta over two. Uh, we want to write this answer in the form of x. So the final answer we have. So x over 4 equal to sine theta. So x over 4. So the adjacent is 16 minus x squared. So we have the negative 16 long k okay, cos theta. So 16 minus x square over hypotenuse. Okay, minus cos squared theta. So we have the cos squared theta, 16 minus x squared. Okay, we write this. We have to convert the final answer in terms of x. The over x over 4. The final answer Final answer must be in x in the form of x. Okay, let's look at example four. Okay, by using x equal to a tangent theta, evaluate the integral of x times the square root of x square plus four. Okay, if we look at this form of integral.
it is in the general form of x square plus a square. So we use the substitution in the form of x equal to a tangent theta. It's given in this question x equal to a tangent theta. Okay, so this form is x square plus 2 square. So we use the substitution x equal to 2 tangent theta. Okay. So we use x equal to 2 tangent theta. Okay, then by look by look at this question. We want to find the x square. So the x square is 4 times tangent square theta. And then we have to differentiate this x with respect to theta. So we find the x equal to 2 second square theta d theta. Okay, then we substitute all this value of x into the into the original question. So x equal to 2 tangent theta times the square root of x square for tangent square theta plus 4 times with we differentiate x with respect to d theta. We find 2 second square theta d theta. <coughs> okay, then we we simplify this form of equation. So we have 8, eight times we integrate tangent theta. Times with tangent square theta plus 1. Times with second square theta d theta. Okay, then. Okay, we want to, to simplify again this, this equation. So, we use the identity. Trigonometric identity, trigonometric identity. To change this tangent square theta plus one into secant square theta. Use the secant square theta identity. We will use is secant square theta equal to tangent square theta plus one. So we substitute into this, this. So then we have the, we simplify this. Then we have the second theta times second square theta. Okay, then. We use this this integration. We use the substitution. Okay, we use this clue. We let u equal to secant theta. So we we differentiate the secant u. We differentiate u with respect to theta. We will have the u equal to secant theta tangent theta. This is in the form of this is in the form of second part. Previous one, the previous previous equation, we have tangent theta times with second theta cube. D theta. So, this is the odd form of second. So, we have to, to split it into 
secant theta, tangent theta. You have to split it. It's, this is the odd tangent, odd tangent. Power odd, power odd secant. Secant function. So we have to split into secant tangent. So we use the substitution u equal to secant theta. So that we can differentiate u with respect to theta, we will have du equal to secant theta tangent theta. Okay, then we substitute the value u into this function. Okay, secant theta, we substitute with u. Okay, so u squared times du. Okay, then we can simply integrate this this u function with respect to u. So we will have u cube over 3. This one. So 8 over 3. We substitute back the value of u into this into this solution. So we have 8 over 3 second cube theta plus c and then the final answer must be in x, in term of x. So, we have to find the value for theta. So, okay, we use the, we use the right angle triangle. This right angle triangle. Okay. From this substitution, <coughs> okay, x equal to 2 tangent theta. So, tangent theta equal to x over 2. Then, we sketch the right angle triangle. So, x over 2, the opposite over adjacent. Then, we find the hypotenuse. So, x squared plus 4. Okay, then we substitute into this, this, Equation so secant so secant theta equal to secant is one over cos theta. So we get the hypotenuse over adjacent x squared plus four. So square root of x squared plus four over two. Then we substitute into this. So then we simplify. We simplify. So we have this answer. The final answer must be in X. Okay, so this is the last example. The reference is from Jun Aida and Zakia Umar. Okay, thank you.